We all want more clients, right? I mean, who doesn't? But finding clients in any business is not always easy. So today I'm going to give you an actionable list of over 20 ideas that you and your clients can implement today to get more leads and win clients. Hey, it's Emily here from Fat Joe, where we provide SEO services designed for agencies and marketing teams. Although this extensive list of ideas is tailored to the SEO industry, pretty much every suggestion can be applied to every other industry too. So let's get straight into it. Number one, offer free SEO audits. SEO audits are a great way to give potential clients real, valuable, actionable data. As well as highlighting areas for improvement, tell them what they're doing right, they'll love you for it. Giving them a call and really going out of your way to conduct this audit will help to infuse trust and confidence. Number two, hold local marketing training events. You can do this at your local bistro or even at your office if you're able to. These can also be held virtually via Zoom or Google Hangouts at no expense. Give out free marketing advice and use your expertise. You can even hand out branded literature. They'll look to you as an authority in your niche and they'll get in touch if they need any help. Some might even ask you to manage your marketing then and there on the spot, which happens more often than you might think. Number three, attend trade shows, not just in your industry. Don't just attend the industry events where there are plenty of other companies just like yours. Think about your target customers and think outside the box a little. Say you're an SEO agency. Don't just head to the typical Brighton SEO or PubCon. You can expand further afield and go to any other business conference such as HR, accounting, and you can still mingle and network with your target audience there. Number four, create a business marketing Facebook group. Communities are incredibly powerful. You want to create the go-to place where businesses and marketers can ask questions and learn. Share ideas, create content, and make sure to include a link to your SEO agency within the community, but don't overdo it. Number five, write a free downloadable ebook. Don't be afraid of giving great things away for free. Most of your target audience won't even implement the advice themselves. They'll need someone to do it for them. And that's where you come in. You can use this method to collect contact details so you can get in touch with anyone who's interested. You can plug this online using AdWords, social channels, and you can even use that Facebook community you've just set up. Number six, offer generous free trials. Let your clients try your service for free. This one requires you to be a little more bold with your approach to getting more clients. Make sure you show them the results that you can achieve in a short term. Then you can use this to negotiate a longer term contract once you've proven your ability. Number seven, offer guarantees and be outrageous. Guarantees are simply promising a quality service. Think about this carefully though. Broader guarantees such as increasing traffic by 20% will work a lot better than promising that you can get a specific page to the top of Google for a specific keyword. You don't want to make false promises. Offer a realistic and achievable guarantee that will mean something to your clients. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications. Number eight, introduce a telefriend referral scheme. Who do business owners know? other business owners. Encourage them to talk about you and your services. Don't just offer money off or free services. Give them something that will excite them like a free iPad or a weekend away. Referrals go a long way. The more selling that you can get your clients to do, the more time you can spend on keeping them happy and delivering those results for them to shout about. Number nine, create valuable videos. Videos can really help to engage with your target audience, especially in a market where they might not fully understand your products and services or could greatly benefit from your knowledge and expertise. But remember to feed video traffic back to your website. Number 10, be an opportunist by identifying website issues. Why not browse the web for your target clients and reach out to genuinely help them out? Found any duplicate content, missing title tags? Reach out to the website owner and let them know the opportunities and benefits of fixing these issues. Don't forget to mention the bottom line. Like some of the other ideas on this list, it may not have a direct impact on getting more clients, but it can have a knock-on effect and kindness never goes unnoticed. It can also have a positive effect on the reviews that you receive. Number 11, build a resource for business owners. This has the opportunity to give you an advantage over competitors. Create a place where your target audience can go to to learn more about their industry and even about their own business. This is great for brand recognition and will gain a lot of interest from your target market, giving them a reason to visit your website. Number 12, start a local marketing alliance. Contact your local offline marketer. 
get a web designer, get a graphics designer. Add your expertise into the mix and you have an alliance. With this alliance, you can refer customers to each other. You can hold meetups, whether that's virtually or online. You can share ideas in a mastermind group or even start a super site with a collective investment where you can serve every single need within your target market. Number 13, offer a white label service. A lot of web designers and even other SEO companies will be interested in white labeling your services if they're scalable and yield results. We at Fat Joe offer white label services which is beneficial to our customers because A, it's hands off, hassle free and time saving for our agency customers and B, we're removing the requirement to train staff. So it's a win-win all round. Number 14, get accredited with Google Partners. Accreditations go a long way. Google Partners is an ideal one, which is getting a major revamp ready for a relaunch in 2022. There are a few more around that you might want to consider doing to get a couple of badges of professionalism on your website. Look out for business accreditations too, because this will induce trust from other business owners. Number 15, become a public speaker. This is a scary one for most, but it will definitely get you noticed. Speaking at conferences and seminars will get people talking about you and give you authority. This refers to both in-person and online conferences. You'll have to apply to speak and there may be a fee, but the return in the increase of clients will be indefinitely valuable, as long as your talk was useful, of course. Number 16, make friends with your competitors. Yep, you heard that right. Make your competitors your friends, not your enemies. Take this example from Xbox. Just look at the number of retweets and likes that this friendly post received. Now let's look at the SEO industry. Some SEO companies may specialize in certain parts of SEO or only operate in particular locations. By having an alliance with various SEO agencies, you can refer each other for your specialist work. While this may not happen often, there are definitely other benefits to having connections in other SEO agencies, such as sharing knowledge, expertise, and success stories. Number 17, do free SEO work for charities. Offering local and national charities free SEO work on their website is not only a lovely and noble thing to do, but it will position your business in a more favorable light for other potential clients. Remember to ask for a link or badge on their website and write case studies about the work you did for them to promote their cause. Number 18, publish results-based case studies. With the permission of your clients, publish case studies on successful campaigns. Whilst gaining a lot of respect from fellow professionals, you'll also gain the interest of potential clients in similar situations or niches. Number 19, gather testimonials, videos if possible. Videos are absolutely awesome. It's a well-known fact that video is more engaging than written content. However, if videos aren't possible, a written one which is signed by the CEO or an authoritative person within that company will go a long way to building your company's authority. These could even be the decider when a potential client is viewing your website. Number 20, participate in business forums and social media groups. This is where you'll find a lot of potential clients, niche forums and social media groups. Hang out in these places and monitor their conversations or provide answers to their questions. You'll be surprised at the amount of niche marketing advice required in these groups and forums. Number 21, sponsor marketing and business events. This can be pretty expensive for the smaller agencies, but it's well worth it in the long term. We've done this a few times at Fat Joe and it's 100% helped to grow our business. You're getting your brand under the noses of thousands of engaged clients, particularly if you've done your research and you're attending the right events. Number 22, create free tools. This is similar to what we did with our Fat Rank Keyword Rank Checker tool, our blog post title generator, and our infographic and bed code generator. Find out which tools would be beneficial for your target market and create one that's accessible for free. If it's software that you create, you can even collect contact details and email addresses to add to your mailing list, with their permission of course. Number 23, publicly audit a large brand's website. The principle here is to show off your SEO auditing skills publicly. You'll do this by analyzing all the SEO problems with a large brand's website. You can do the audit and share all the information with recommendations on a blog post, which you can then share on social media. This will show other companies what you're made of and could even land you that company that you audited in the first place. You can do this on a monthly or weekly basis and make it a series. You'll certainly be catching the eye of these companies and anyone else who follows them. What's your favorite way to attract the attention of new clients? Share yours in the comments below. For another 20 ways to get more SEO leads and win clients, you can check out our blog on fatjoe.com. I've linked it in the description below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more tips.